citing from the Royal Navy website, 18 years after committing to upgrade Britain's nuclear deterrent. The keel laying of HMS Dreadnought comes as the country's ultimate weapon reaches a historic milestone. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer paid his respects as work began on the mainframe of the first third-generation ballistic missile submarine at Barrow, almost a decade since the first steel was cut. Senior political, military, and shipbuilding figures, plus some of the thousands of people involved in the Dreadnought program, gathered in the gaping Devonshire Dock Hall at BAE Systems state-of-the-art submarine construction and assembly facility for a brief ceremony. Displacing more than 17,000 tons, the length of 14 buses and with a crew of around 130, HMS Dreadnought will be the most advanced ship of its type in service anywhere. Building the Dreadnought class is a national undertaking, with around 30,000 people involved in the project from design to delivery, with the construction phase of the four submarines, HMS Valiant. Warspite and King George VI following the first of the class, expected to take 20 years. The ships themselves are being built in 16 units which, when ready, are grouped into three big blocks and moved to Devonshire Dock Hall for assembly. The first big block of Dreadnought is due to be delivered in autumn 2023. Dreadnought will begin its deterrent patrols next decade as the existing V-boat's the oldest, Vanguard, is 33 years old, the youngest, Vengeance, 27 are retired.